Hey everybody, David Duncan here. Uh, we got some news, it's not Star Trek, but I did want to talk about it because it is interesting to me. Uh, we've got new Star Wars news that uh, it looks like after the, the, the failure of Solo that uh, they're going to put the other standalone movies on hiatus. And uh, that is, to me, the best thing Disney has decided to do ever. Personally, I enjoyed Solo. Solo was a fun movie. It was perfectly okay. And it was probably the best of the Star Wars movies Disney has put out, in, in my opinion. Most of the reason, uh, you know, I, I did really enjoy Han Solo, but the, the most of the reason I went to see it was because I was going to podcast on it. Um, you know, and that podcast was with Robbie. You can hear it on both uh, the Synthaholics podcast and you can hear it on the Nerdy Nomicon channel uh, as far as podcasts go. But uh, with the Han Solo movie, I had zero interest in seeing it uh, you know, outside of podcasting on it. Uh, it just didn't sound interesting to me. And, uh, you know, it's just, I didn't want a Han Solo movie. And I was pleasantly surprised. You know, with the Star Wars films, uh, the spinoff films, I feel like they've been missing uh, a huge opportunity. Uh, with your with your Star Wars films, you've got your, your episodes, your main numbered episodes. What those should be is like the main saga, the, the ones you follow. Those are the safe ones, the ones you know people will come out and see in droves. Those are the ones you should focus on to make them feel Star Warsy. But then you should expand the universe with the spin-off films. Make them take place during the of the time period of, of the of the other movies. Don't make them prequels. Prequels never do well. I mean, I guess Rogue One did okay, but I I, I personally couldn't stand Rogue One. Um, you know, Han Solo was fine. I I enjoyed it for what it was, but there's just. I don't feel like it was a story that needed to be told. Like, it's not expanding the universe at present. It's just telling us what happened before, and I don't think that's necessary. Uh, I would love to see them do, you know, some side stories. The the, the spinoff movie should be where they do experiments and take risks. Make Star Wars, make a Star Wars noir cop film. Make a, make a Star Wars assassin film. Make a Star Wars romantic comedy. Make a Star Wars just straight up comedy. Like, there's so much stuff you could do inside the Star Wars universe and those spinoff films should have been where they did that. Where they took risks. Where they pushed the idea of what Star Wars is and what Star Wars was. Not these derivative just, oh, we're gonna cash in on people like Han Solo or people like Boba Fett or people like Yoda or people like Obi-Wan Kenobi or people like Darth Vader or people like, you know, whatever. Like, <sighs> these spinoff films where they're just, like, doing this nostalgia grab is, is, is terrible and I'm glad they're stopping, especially after, you know, episode 8 where Ryan Johnson was like, forget the past, and then the next movie coming out was Han Solo, a movie that's built on the past and nostalgia. So I feel like it was a bad move for them to have a movie preaching, forget the past, and then putting out a, a movie immediately afterward that uh, was like, oh, look, here's the past. Come look at it. It was cool, right? So uh, mixed messages, I, I feel like, and I, I don't feel like it's just the fans' fault. I feel like Disney might be you know, at fault for this, at least partially. Uh, like, I didn't know anyone personally who was excited to see Han Solo. Like, maybe you were. Maybe you were. And that's, that's fantastic. It's great that you were excited to see Han Solo. But the general excitement and buzz, I didn't really see it for Han Solo. None of my friends who were big in the Star Wars were super like, oh yeah, Han Solo's gonna be fantastic. And everyone was like, nah, I don't really want to see Han Solo. So, it just seems like whoever with their social media person, maybe they should have put feelers out before they decided to make a movie about Han Solo. And then, why did they fire their directors? Half, you know, when they were almost done shooting. Like, why even hire them if you're not going to let them do their job? Uh, there's just so many things that's been going on with these spinoff films. Like, R Rogue One also had lots of reshoots and lots of changes happen to it as well. So these spinoff movies are just getting so outrageously expensive because they keep having to redo them. And that's just disappointing. So, you know, I'm glad they're taking a step back maybe reevaluating and you know maybe I know people are super excited for for Obi-Wan and and you know that may not be happening anytime soon now but maybe they can take a step back and figure out why people weren't liking these movies and maybe they'll take into consideration and maybe they'll try to start taking more risks with the spin-off movies you know people are going to come to your big tentpole episode numbered movies those are the ones where we're going to make your money then take risks on the, on the smaller ones maybe don't spend as much money on them Make them special. Make them memorable. Don't make them weird cash grabs that just focus on a single character that we've known before. 
I feel like that's that's a mistake. So, so bravo, Disney. Uh, I'm so glad you're, you're, you're stopping these anthology, these every other year anthology films. Figure out what your fans want and then and make that and make good movies please make good movies don't don't cater to you know figure out what your fans want and then and make good movies don't don't make them fill them full with fan service fan service you know a little bit of fan service is okay but do something interesting take risks star wars is a huge vast universe and there's so much we could do and see inside of it. So so stop focusing on these things that we already kind of know. Let's let's see something new. Let's see something original. Let's see something fun. What do you guys think about Han Solo being the last spin-off movie for a while? Are you are you excited that uh, Disney is going to take time to refocus? Are you upset that you're not getting the Obi Wan and Boba Fett movie as soon as we had hoped? Uh, let me know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.